if you want to carry one of these for self-protection. I thought the Supreme Court said you could. The majority concluded that the right to own a gun belongs to each law-abiding American. But what does that mean to me in my town? In New York City, politicians say... The majority of the people want sensible gun restrictions. Sensible restrictions? What does that mean? Photocopies not accepted. I tried to get a gun license. They make it very hard. First, you must fill out this 17-page form. The form says I must promise I know the definition of other weapons like switchblade knife, gravity knife, pylum ballistic knife, metal knuckle knife, a kung fu star. I don't want a kung fu star. I just want a gun for safety. People sometimes threaten me because they don't like what I say on TV. I, I think, think they that's have, a common sense. I think they have too much security now. I After this appearance, some said I should be shot in the face. So when I travel around town, I'd like to have the option of protecting myself. Studies show Americans use guns every day to stop crime. Guns often stop crime. The robber got more than he bargained for. Turns the tables on a knife-wielding intruder. Today, laws in every state allow adults to carry a concealed gun. Many fear this would lead to a surge in gun crime, but the opposite happened. Violence appears to be dropping. And yet some towns like Chicago, Washington, D.C., New York City, make it nearly impossible for people legally to carry a gun. This is 50 pages. Who understands this? It took hours and hours to fill out the forms. We had to call the police department six times to clarify what questions meant. Finally, it was done. I have to get this notarized. You go ahead and sign here, and I will uh, fill in the rest. Then you have to go in person to police headquarters. Here, they fingerprinted me, asked me to list reasons why I should be allowed to have a gun, and then they charged me a $430 application fee. They said they'd get back to me. At least they were polite. Others tell a different story. They're rude right from the get-go. Robert Martinez served in Iraq and Afghanistan. I have 10 years of military experience. I think a military vet could keep a handgun in his home for protection, but... It's not so easy. Why do you want a gun permit? Because I want to be able to protect my family. Martinez lives in a New York City housing project. A couple of months ago, a man was beaten to death in front, um, out in front of my building. All of a sudden, you hear shots go off, and it's like boom, boom, boom. So he thought he'd just get a gun license, but that turned out to be an ordeal. They'll have you there at 9 o'clock when they open up at 10, and they'll have you sitting there until almost 3 in the afternoon. They serviced me within 90 minutes. It's John Stossel coming here to get a license. It's not really going to be so that So for big. you, it was 9 in the morning till 2? Yeah. And did you get the permit? No. Their attitude is that people don't need guns. We're the police. The police can't get there. You have a better shot at hitting the lottery than getting a cop on your, on your street exactly at the same time that you get into problems. The process itself was set up to be an ordeal. Glenn Herman runs this website, which advises people on navigating the regulations. If you're this expert, I would think it would be easy for you to get people guns. It's still an ordeal. It's being used as a weapon to deter people from following through the process, which can take as long as a year. For me, it took eight and a half months. First, they told me I had to return to police headquarters for another in-person interview. This time, they demanded that I prove an accusation against me had been dropped. They said this headline was not enough. I was supposed to produce the original court documents. They also told me I had to document threats against me. Fortunately, I could show them things like this. 52 days later, they sent me a letter rejecting my application for a carry permit. They said I could get a license to keep a gun in my apartment, but I feel safe in my apartment. I want a permit to carry where I might feel threatened. But I was told, you failed to demonstrate a special need. The license advisor told me I'd applied for the permit the wrong way. Friends of the ruling class, that's who gets it. Everyone else, you're out of luck. Donald Trump got a permit to carry a gun. So did Howard Stern and Robert De Niro. It should be done through the cronyism way. Maybe you've done work for someone who knows a senator. That's the approach you make. They will get you in front of a judge, and within two to three days, you will have your permit. These individuals can afford to pay for security. My family can't. There's no way in hell I'm going to let this lie.